Welcome back. A new study focused on violence against educators has some alarming findings. Over 10,000 teachers surveyed in 2022, 80% of them reporting at least one incident of verbal harassment or threatening behavior from a student. 63% reporting an incident from a parent or guardian. So joining us now with more on these findings is the lead author of this study, Professor Susan Dvorak McMahon of DePaul University. Susan, thank you so much for being on the program. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. Okay, so the stats went up about 20%, we understand, from the year, from the school year 2020 to 2021. Why do you think this uptick is happening? So there are a number of issues going on. And just first of all, to, to keep in mind that our sample, so I'm chairing a National uh, American Psychological Association Task Force on Violence Against uh, Educators and School Personnel. And, uh, you know, so we've done a set of surveys uh, across all 50 United States as well as Puerto Rico. And the two samples that you're kind of talking about, they are uh, snapshots in time. So they're slightly different samples of, of people. So um, that's one thing to keep in mind. Okay. And uh, a second thing is that when the violence and aggression did occur, uh, on average, it was, you know, sort of once over the academic year or less. So it's not a problem everyone is experiencing, but it is a problem that is pretty widespread and that we need to recognize. Our research has suggested that one of the things that happened during COVID is that, you know, sort of anxiety and stress went way up for educators and school personnel. And uh, so for example, um, uh, we had teachers who were uh, uh, about 41 percent of our teachers prior to COVID uh, said that they experienced anxiety or stress um, frequently or almost always. And uh, during COVID, that shot way up. We had a lot of things going on during COVID to about 75 percent of our sample. And then it dropped back just a little bit to 69 percent. So one of the things that happened is that anxiety and stress went up. Um, there are a lot of extra issues that happened during COVID, but they didn't really come back to pre-COVID levels. They were pretty high before COVID as well. Okay. Um, and this is a problem not just for teachers, but also school psychologists, social workers, counselors, staff, and administrators. Yeah, and, you, so and we mentioned parents happened. and guardians as well. Now, is this having an impact on the profession itself? Are, is there a higher turnover rate among teachers? Are teachers leaving the profession altogether? I mean, we um, are, are, you know, sort of there and plans to, to quit and transfer. So we looked at that during COVID and then also after COVID restrictions were lifted in 2022. So what we find is that um, the quit rates, you know, the, the intentions to quit before COVID were about 43% of the sample, or I'm sorry, that was during COVID, about 43% of our sample said they planned or or intended or wanted to, to uh Quit, and then that jumped to 57 percent, sort of after the COVID restrictions in 21-22. So, um, and then in terms of transfer, which you know can be perhaps more likely to happen in an urban area, we had 26 percent and 49 percent, mm. sort of during COVID and after COVID. Wow. So these rates have gone up pretty significantly. Now, not all people who plan to or want to quit do quit, but it is an indicator that there are a lot of um, negative things kind of going on in the school setting to make people want to quit and that and that a number of people have quit or transferred. So it is a problem. So then we think about uh, teacher shortages and staff shortages. And then so when you think about it, um, if people are leaving the profession, um, because the conditions are not very uh, positive for them, then for the people who are left, it's even more difficult. Right. It's so, kind of a, a self-perpetuating uh, uh, cycle. All right. Suzanne right. McMahon of DePaul University uh, diving into these uh, concerning statistics. We appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for being on the program.